Hi guys and happy spring break. I'm currently speaking to you guys outside of my grandma's house. The view is just absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And I was like, there's no reason why I shouldn't be filming outside with this beautiful sunlight, but it's like a little cloudy, so it kind of makes for the perfect YouTube lighting. So here I am. So pretty much my spring break was half spent in Gulf Shores, Alabama with um, a bunch of girls in my sorority and we went away and it was like the best, the best, half week of my life it was just so so much fun and I know a lot of you guys are requesting for me to do some sort of spring break related video like tip what to pack and I definitely want to do that so if you'd like to see a spring break tips video like this video and we'll see how many likes we get and then I guess I will kind of see <laughs> also then the other half of my spring break I am here in Lake Worth Florida visiting my grandmother and it has just been a great great time it was really nice it was like the transition between like the college spring break and then like coming here and relaxing and spending the week and I've just been shopping the area around here has some great stores and stuff I went to City Place which is in West Palm Beach and that was great and then I went to the mall at Wellington if you guys are familiar slash live in the Florida area I'm here all the time also so I don't know. I'm here all the time. I absolutely love it. This time of year it's perfect, but when it gets to summer, it's just like Florida is kind of unbearable. So I do like it for the time being. So I picked up some things over spring break. I haven't gone like shopping, shopping in a while, and I know I say that in every haul, but like it really is true. I'm not the type to just go and like swipe my card and just like go shopping everywhere. I used to be that kind of person in high school, but like I've totally changed in college because I'm a little more like money savvy. If that makes any sense, like I'm just a little more conscious with what I'm spending money on. I'd rather spend money on like going out to dinner with friends than like going and buying like really expensive clothing. With that being said though, I did buy some really cute bikinis and stuff for spring break so I will show you them. This is kind of like a pre-spring break haul so it's like the things I ordered that arrived right before spring break and the things that I got while I was on spring break itself. So without further rambling, oh also if you're not subscribed to my channel you should be. So hit that subscribe button, I make college lifestyle videos every single Tuesday and I think you guys would really enjoy my channel um, I do fun things like this and travel and do cool things as well also this top is from show me your moo if you are wondering and I got it when they had a trunk sale at my sorority house so it's only $20 just a fun fact so let's go ahead and get started with Nordstrom and I ordered these two pieces from Nordstrom online actually before my trip and then I got a bunch of stuff at the Nordstrom at the Wellington Mall I don't have a Nordstrom near me so it made me really excited to go okay so online I ordered a bathing suit. Never had this problem in my life, but I've actually struggled to fit into my smaller bathing suits because, um, I don't know, my chest is just bigger than most people, so it used to be like kind of whatever goes, and now I have to like be smart about what I'm buying to make sure that everything fits me well. I got this bathing suit, and it's super cute. It's from Roxy. I can insert a picture of me wearing it here. I wore it on the beach with like high-waisted shorts, and it was just perfect. It's super flowy, but like it keeps it, it's perfect. I'm, I think I'm a size medium in this. It's really cute, it ties in them. It's adorable, I really like this one. And then I really needed a new pair of high-waisted shorts and I love my Topshop jeans. So I was like, I probably will like the Topshop jean shorts and I totally do. So I got this black pair and they are just adorable. And these are the Topshop Moto mom jeans. I don't know how they're exactly mom jeans because they fit me pretty snug, but they're just black, high-waisted and they go super cute with like flowy shirts like this. I actually bought them to wear with this top. When I go back to Athens this week, it's gonna be like 80 degrees, so when I go out, I'm gonna be able to wear jean shorts and flowy shirts, and I'm just, I am so excited. I love this weather. I love going out when it's like warm outside because now when I got it Nordstrom in the store, this Nordstrom didn't have a Topshop section, which really breaks my heart because that is my favorite section of Nordstrom, but they had free people. So I splurged just a bit and bought a full priced free people top. This is probably my first one. I always get them on sale. It doesn't bother me really getting them on sale to be honest because they're still super cute. But this one was full price but I just, I'm so excited to wear it to spring parties guys. It's adorable and I know it's a little windy right now. So what it is basically is there's a little cross tie here so it looks almost like you're wearing a choker and then it comes together and it looks like you're wearing a bralette. So that's awesome because you can wear a regular bra and it looks like a bralette because it's super lacy. And then it's just very flowy but it doesn't make you look too big because it's actually snug to your body but it's flowy if that makes sense. So it just really works for my body shape. When I tried it on I was like I wish they had this in multiple colors because I probably would buy it. I'm a small, usually I'm a medium in all clothing things but 
I am a small and the back is open. Oh my god, it's just so cute. I can't wait to wear it. Okay, then these were on sale for only $15 each and I really wanted some like layering tank tops or things that I could wear with basic like denim shorts because denim shorts are my thing. And these are just these, I guess they're like muscle tee but they're looser and they're definitely way more feminine than like a traditional muscle tee but they do show off your arms and I've been working on those pure bar arms, whatever. They're super, super cute and they just go straight down but they like cut in a little bit and they're kind of higher now. They're only $15 each so originally I just picked out this gray one and then she was like oh these are on sale today do you want to grab another color i was like okay i'll get the white so now i have them and they're like a really nice worn texture but it's high quality and then from the nordstrom bp section i tried on this really cute pair of like overall jean things like the shorts but they look like overalls and they just don't fit me right i have like pretty long legs but like my legs aren't the thinnest so it's kind of like hard to find the proper fit so unfortunately those didn't fit this shirt worked out and it's just a loose button tee um, I really wanted something like this as a swim cover-up or as just a casual shirt for around campus this plus like leggings or something would be a very simple outfit for me for this coming end of the semester I went to Sephora and I only got three things I tried two of these the other day and I loved them and these are the Sephora little eye mask things my under eyes get so dry it is ridiculous they get like literally crusty and I hate it so I got two more of these and you just put them on like little patches under your eyes and you leave them on for 20 minutes and then you rub in the little serum stuff and your eyes are super moisturized is I don't even know what do they come in like flavors this one's ginseng, ginseng and this one's lotus but I kind of just picked them out for the colors I'm so basic and then I splurged on a new concealer this is the urban decay naked skin I've heard great things about it and I needed something like after I color cracked my um, acne I needed something to like kind of go over that so this is in the shade medium light and it's a light diffusing concealer and it has like a little applicator i think it's like a little yeah it's just a nice little applicator i think it will be good i'll update you on this soon victoria's secret i just got a swim top actually my grandma bought it for me she's like i want to buy you something and i was like okay you can buy me a bathing suit top because i always need them and this one it looks so big but it actually fits me I really know how um so this is just a really cute pattern i don't know what the heck this style is called it's just literally one of their basic bikinis. I think it's not like a string one, but um, it's just like, you know, there, hooks in the back and ties at the front. I like it because it's very supportive, but the pattern is so cute and I can wear it with white bottoms or navy blue bottoms. From American Apparel, I don't have an American Apparel anywhere near me. Like the nearest one is probably an hour away or like in New York City. So I was like, I need to go. And I honestly was just looking around and then I saw the, I saw the cute like crop sweatshirts that don't have a hood on them, but they are so, so cute. And then I saw the ones that do have a hood and I was like, all right, that is adorable. So I got this light green teal blue color. I don't really know what you would call this. It's just like a neutral green and it's hooded, but it's cropped. So it looks super cute with denim shorts or flowy shorts or anything in the summer when you want to be casual. I also bought a scrunchie because my mom has been begging me to try to find her one. She was like, Brooke, I really need a scrunchie. Where can I get one? And I was like, go to Dollar Tree, just get a scrunchie. And then I decided to be nice and buy her this. But I got you the neon color, sorry mom. And I also got um, just like petals for the shirts because somehow these always go missing. And as we were driving up to Gulf Shores for spring break, we passed an outlet mall and they had a ton of stuff, but I only bought stuff at PacSun because the Brandy Melville section. So I got this cute flannel, which I thought would be very cute over denim shorts or tied around my waist. So I just wanted a new flannel and it's this really nice blue color. So that concludes my spring break haul. I don't think it's too excessive at all. I'd say this is just the right amount. Let me know what you guys think. As I said, give this video a thumbs up for more spring break videos, especially like you college spring breakers because it's a it's a different experience, let me tell you. It's not like going on vacation with your parents. It's very different. So let me know if you'd like to see videos on that and give this video a big thumbs up in general. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I think I've already said that. Watch some of my other hauls. I believe I have a playlist on my channel. I'll link that down below. And I will see you guys all next Tuesday with a new video. Bye, guys.